Hey guys, welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and this time we're joined by Derek Benner and Ash Paulson to discuss the latest Super Mario Maker news. So let's get started. Alright guys, at E3, Nintendo told us there were more secrets in Mario Maker. And they weren't kidding, but they just announced a new trailer today that shows off some final new details about the game that we didn't know about. Uh, such as the fact that you can now add custom sound effects to the level. Uh, specifically, there's like a whole sound effects grid that you can now drag and drop into the level, and when you run across that part, that, that area of the map, it will trigger not only a sound effect, but a visual effect as well. So in the trailer we can see like a giant disco ball comes down at one point, <laughs> it like, causes like a impromptu rave. Uh, we can even see like fireworks go off and all other kinds of things. And then you can um, even record your own voice and add that to the level as well. So in the example you can record like someone saying happy birthday and you know, make a whole happy birthday level. Uh, in addition, we also saw that there's going to be support, a support for literally every amiibo out there. Um, plus all the upcoming ones except for the Miis. And that enables you to turn your character basically into a 2D version of that amiibo and play as all these you know, iconic gaming heroes in your level. Uh, and yeah, so that's that's basically the bulk of the new content. Um, what do you guys think about everything you saw? I think this trailer, like, I was already sold on Super Mario Maker, but it's amazing how, like, you can be so hyped for a game and then get a new trailer and be even more hyped for that game because of what they announced. Like, I didn't expect anything to be done with sound effects. I was just happy just getting music uh, that we had before and everything else that we could see, but being able to trigger these very unique things like fireworks or, like, some kind of earthquake where rocks fall, uh, the disco ball, that's crazy. Uh, and it just, like, I... I'm really curious what people are going to come up with with all these tools at hand. I am completely in awe at how much this game has transformed from its initial reveal last year to what it looks like now. I mean, I've said this before, <laughs> but I could not have cared less about it uh, when it was first revealed. It just looked like a generic, you know, Super Mario level creator. And now it's just transformed into this, you know, this completely different game that's just bursting at the seams with all these little cool details and and clear love on the part of the developers and I, I love it. I mean they're I love the sound effects. I love that you can add visual effects. Um the, well, well, the Be honest, Ash, the only reason you care about any of this is because they confirmed you can use a Mega Man amiibo. Well that that of course. <laughs> I, I wish they hadn't confirmed that without showing me footage. I want to see what he looks like. But yeah. I think it's incredible when you think about it, the even like Me Mega Man for me personally is awesome. But when you think about the fact that you can play as Sonic in a in a, a Mario game how weird is that? Like when you when you think about how full circle things have come. <laughs> like like in a classic two D Mario game, you can now play as Sonic, and it's like wow, things have really changed. That is kind of crazy, and pe that's something a crossover people have wanted to see forever. When speaking of crossover, like these amiibo basically enable this game to become the Super Mario crossover, um, you know, based you know like the Super Mario crossover game, that fan game that was created years ago. No, Grant is not quite the same because they don't inherit their right. gameplay mechanics, but. It's still kind of cool from you know a visual perspective, and even a thematic perspective. But yeah, I'm I'm there with you, Ash. Like the amount of stuff they've added to this game is insane, and I think I've always been up, been a little bit more excited than you guys, uh, at least earlier on. But my hype is through the roof now for this game. <laughs> like I, I said on Twitter a few weeks ago, I am literally like I've never been more hyped for a 2D Mario game than I have uh, since Mario World. Like this is the most hyped I've nice. been for a 2D Mario since Mario World. I am so excited for this game. And everything I see just makes me want to play more and more of it. Like, everything I've played of it makes me want to play more and more of it. <laughs> um, and I love that they are incorporating those um, uh, Mario Paint, you know, type mechanics now, like, through the through the sound editing. Uh, or not really editing, but, like, through the sound through the sound effects options. Right. Uh, it, which includes a, a way of creating custom music, which people have wanted for a while. It's not quite to the level people, you know, the, the Mario Paint creator... But we saw that we saw now that you can, if you shake a note block, it'll turn into a music block, and you can actually create songs that way, um, including uh, they actually recreated the Mario Paint theme um, using those blocks by just timing it and putting them at, a, at the correct height, so that when enemies trigger them, uh, it actually creates music. So um, I'm actually envisioning uh, kind of like what they did with Mario Paint, the Mario Paint Guide, where they actually gave you sheet music in which you could recreate songs in Mario Paint. I have a feeling people are going to redo that for Mario Maker, where they will just show you how to create songs in Mario Maker and add them to your levels. That would be really cool, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. That would be a really cool little community outreach thing they could do. And, right. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about the music stuff. And there's just there's there's so much more customization than we ever thought there would be. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm so excited. Like, being able to add your own voice to the game, who saw that coming? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, did not see that one coming. Uh, but as you, we were talking about this uh, before we started recording, uh, you don't think that the uh, any level that has your own voice recording uh, will be allowed online because of, well, the obvious things that people will probably try to put on there. Well, I, I think the levels will be allowed, I, but I don't think there's a chance in hell the voice recordings will accompany the level. I think they'll just be cut uh, from the level when you upload it online. Yeah, probably. That could be. Yeah, because people could, I mean, people could put some horrible things in those recordings. <laughs> oh, yes. Three seconds is plenty of time to be offensive. <laughs> Although, given how, how completely Nintendo seems to have given up on moderating Miiverse and, and the Miiverse stage in Smash Brothers, maybe they will. You well, know? That's kind of maybe true. they will let it happen, because they've completely given up on moderating Miiverse, at least from what I can tell. Now, there is something else that they announced in this trailer that's kind of interesting and not really what anyone expected or <laughs> maybe hoped for going off some of the reactions I've seen. Uh, and that is the fact that when you when you get the game, you don't have instant access to all the content. Instead, it sounds like you have to play the game for a minimum of nine days in order to unlock everything. So basically, it looks like if you play the game for a few minutes a day, you that will, will then unlock uh, more content that will unlock the following day. Um, and I've seen some people kind of freak out about this on on Twitter. Um, what do you guys think about that though? Where you know you the content is doled out slowly over the course of you know a week or more. I can kind of understand, like, you have, wanting to have all the tools available at the moment, but for me personally, since I'm not much of a creator, I like, you know, just being able to slowly work at things and figure out what I exactly want to do and expanding my tool set as I get used to the game. I don't mind it that much at all. Uh, on the other hand, isn't there an easy workaround on, on this? Couldn't you just, like, go into the internal clock on the Wii U and just push it forward a day and there you go? I hope like, so. Yeah, and I'll be testing that day one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pain in the butt, but if you really want to get all your content right away, there you go. Um, you know, I, I actually feel the same way as you, Derek. I mean, I don't play open world games because when I'm presented with too many choices at once, I just tend to freeze up and not make any choices and just kind of mm -hmm. wander. And it's the same thing here. I do understand why people are upset, and for those people, I, I wish they could have all the content immediately. But for me, I'm perfectly fine with having everything doled out gradually over the course of nine days because I know that I would rather go into the creator having fewer options and then, you know, to have gradually have more options introduced than to go into the creator and have all these crazy things thrown at me at once. So I, I see where Nintendo's logic is here, and I personally appreciate it, but I do wish there was a way for people who aren't like the two of us to just have everything at once. Yeah, I'm kind of two minds on this. Like, in principle, like, I don't mind this at all. Like, in fact, it's, it's not a bad idea. Like, it allows you to get used to the to a smaller tool set, um, you know, before gradually expanding your abilities and, uh, you know, the restrictions and whatnot. Like, it's a good way of, like, slowly, yeah, just getting used to all the content uh, without becoming overwhelmed. But by the same time, at the same time, you know, we've seen so much of this game now, uh, all the things you can create. There are tools I'm going to want to play with on day one that may not become available until you know, day seven, eight, or nine. And in that sense, it's a little bit frustrating. Um, it, it's, it's a little bit like, I mean, it's not terribly dissimilar to what they've done with Splatoon, where they showed off content earlier on, but you, you know, but then they dole it out over a few weeks. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's a little bit different this time. The entire game is based around this idea of creating levels instead of Splatoon, where it's just add-on content. So, I don't feel that strongly about it. I just feel like it, it, it is a little bit annoying, I guess, in a sense, but I kind of <laughs> wanted to play with everything all at once. Um, but if you can, you know, if you can just work around it by changing the clock, Derek, as you mentioned, probably not that big of a deal. So again, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, I just kind of, like, personally, I kind of want it all there at once, but I can see why they did it too. Well, I also think they might have done it to add, not maybe, not add to the longevity of the game, because it's only nine days, nine days but, yeah. but people do, you know, including myself, people are known to like unlocking things. Like, they just like having content doled out on a gradual basis. And I think that might be partially a reason, too, because if they throw all this content at you once, and then you're playing with it, and then you don't ever get anything new, it's like, okay, well, I've already seen everything the game has to offer. What's next? So there might be a small element of them wanting to just keep things feeling fresh for a while, too. I am curious how they're going to handle... Because they've already said, like, you don't need Amiibos to unlock the characters for those mystery mushrooms right um you can unlock them in the game them itself uh and i'm curious how they're going to handle that is it i'm guessing through 100 man mario and 10 man mario uh, yeah that's what they've said they said that you can unlock more through the 100 man mario challenge so you know th yeah. they, even then you're still getting elements and stuff like that way beyond uh what you've played uh the whole doling out thing like i said it's for me 
personally, it's not a huge deal. Like I, I like being able to become accustomed with tools before I learn the next set of tools. And I guess part of me will want to get further on, but uh, get more quicker. But I don't know. I just it doesn't seem like that big of an issue if the internal clock trick works. You know. I mean, but what if it doesn't? I mean, even if it doesn't, nine days in the grand scheme of things isn't that long. I mean, a lot of content in other games takes a lot longer to unlock than nine days. So you could just look at it as, this is what I have to do to unlock this set of content. I have to play the game for five minutes to unlock this content, and so on. So you could just look at it as an unlock method. So I, I think, so for me personally, like... I, like, I am so excited for this game. I literally already have a document set up with tons of level ideas I already have. <laughs> wow. So what's annoying to me is there are going to be some levels I will have to wait a you know over a week in order to create, potentially, to my full, to my full envisioned version of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is, a, that is an issue. Um, I don't know. It, it's, it's such a... It's two sides of the same coin. Like, you... you I understand both sides, and I... I don't know a better way to do that. Uh, well, I, I, think, I, I think a better way to do it would be um, instead of making you play five minutes a day, which isn't much, by the way, but then making you wait a full day to play with that content that you already play mm -hmm. enough to unlock it, uh, they should just do it in terms of time. Like, ditch the waiting idea and instead make you, you know, unlock it in, like, hourly increments. If you play one hour, you unlock the next set. Play another hour, you unlock another set. Yeah. That'd be better, yeah. Yeah, that would be better. I, yeah, I, I could see that being a, a better solution for both sides. Yeah. But, you know, putting all that aside, again, I just want to stress, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah. Uh, what I, what, it does uh, make me wonder, though, if they actually are going to follow a Splatoon model, uh, even more so, where they're going to, uh, you know, maybe they'll announce or uh, release additional content down the line. Because this would be such a perfect game to do that with, right? Like, especially because the assets, you know, in the grand scheme of things, seem to be pretty simple. Like, it's just, a, you know, a few sprites for each one. And then you just have to add the properties to it. I mean, of course, I'm making it sound simpler than I'm sure it actually is. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, a lot of that grunt work is already done. They already know how these enemies and objects function. And there is so much left in the Mario series that hasn't been used yet. Like, where's my charge and chucks? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I kind of wonder if that's going to be the case. And I really hope it is because there is so much more they can add to this game that could just make, just add, like, so much replayability to this game for weeks, for months even. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I agree. I think maybe the paid DLC route is a little more likely with this game, because I think one of the reasons they're adding so much free content to Splatoon was because it's pretty clear that it was rushed out, missing a lot of core features to, you know, get the game out a little sooner. So that makes sense to add that back in as free content. Well, I'm not, so actually, real quick, I'm not sure that's actually the case, because most really? of that content up until this recent update was actually all on the disc. Oh, then, then I, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. That's strange that they would they would uh, release the game missing that many features, but hey, if they just didn't think that people could handle it all that soon, then I guess, yeah. Well, I, mean, I think, I think it will. may have been just to maintain interest in the game. That like, could just, be it, yeah. Yeah, especially because it's an online game, you want to maintain that you know that active user base, so right. that may have been where they're coming from. And, and bringing it back to Mario, it would be a good way to keep maintain that interest. Okay, I've made a ton of levels, I've used all these sets, but, you know, I've... I'm I'm bored, you know. I've yeah. seen the same sort of such of things. Adding new uh, things to work with, new backgrounds, uh, new enemies, new objects you can play with. It you know, it would expand the longevity of the game. Yeah, I know I'm with you. And actually, I think you're maybe right, maybe on something there, Ash, with a paid DLC route. Mm -hmm. uh, because Splatoon's a new IP. Um, I don't think they want to take any risks with that. You know, by having paid. A DLC for That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. Whereas with Mario Maker, it makes complete sense. Like, Mario is already a huge name. It doesn't really need any, need any additional help to sell. This game's going to do gangbusters, I think, by itself. I would be totally okay with uh, going the paid route and actually being able to buy more objects to play around with in this game. I mean, Mario Maker already offers so much by itself uh, that I feel the price, based on what I've seen, more than justifies itself. And yeah, if I can pay more to get even more, great. And what would be cool is that they added like levels that came with each with each pack. So you know maybe you actually buy these as level packs. Um, I don't know, maybe like four to eight levels or something. And that will come with its whole new row of icons. Um, and those levels will help you. You know, will give you some ideas of how to use those icons. Yeah, I mean, like I've said, bef I've said before that I would be perfectly willing to pay a few bucks every once in a while for new treehouse created levels because I love I love the creativity on display of with the official levels that we played so far. 
and I would be happy to, to drop a few bucks to have a new set of those levels every once in a while. Well, going one step beyond that, we've already heard the announcement about uh, Michelle Ansel. Uh, Michael oh, yeah. Ansel. I don't, yeah, creating levels in Mario Maker. I'd, I'd get packs. I'm sure people would get packs if, like, this creator was making these levels or even just a dedicated, like, here are brand new levels designed by Miyamoto. Right. Go crazy. Yeah. 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 No, that'd be, that'd be such a great marketing tool, too. Um, mm. Yeah. This, I mean, it's interesting to see the route Nintendo's taken now where they, they really are turning, like, every game, it seems, recently into more of a platform. Um, granted, we don't know that's the case of Mario Maker yet, but I really hope it is because it seems like one of the best examples to do that with um, yet. Mm-hmm. No, definitely. And, and and one thing that um, one person thing I personally love that I saw in the trailer, and maybe we might have known this before, but I love that you have to beat a level yourself before you're allowed to upload it. Oh, that's to, crucial. Yeah, that's so yeah. crucial. And and, yeah. and maybe we already knew that, but we did. But, but yeah. okay, yeah, we did. Well, Andre, I know that you absolutely would have created this super long level for me to play, only for me to get to the flag <laughs> at the end and not let me actually touch the flag. So <laughs> so they, they've already thwarted you. I love it. No, not quite. I no. thought of ways that you can make it like pretty much impossible to be a level without knowing what to do as a creator. Nice, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> don't worry, still expect plenty of troll levels, Ash. No, okay. I, I can expect some where you have like a, you get a piece like as they showed in the video, they had that whole all those blocks surrounding the uh, flag. You could do that in the game, except have it like only be a piece switch, and if you run out of time. Nope, you're not getting to that flag. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, like you could totally. I mean, that's a great. That's a great example. You could totally like hide a P switch just left at the start, an invisible block that you would never see. That you'd have to carry to the very end in order to turn the blocks into coins or block in the flagpole to get to the end. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> so there are so many ways you could just create <laughs> not, totally troll Do level. not doubt Andre's evil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the bit block, by the way, in particular, we'll see how evil my levels can get. Nice. <laughs> Well, do you guys have any final thoughts about anything we discussed or anything else you want to bring up before we wrap it up here? No, I think uh, I'm I'm excited to try out my own levels. I'm excited to see what other people can come up with. And this is just looking like a great package. Yeah, uh, I, I guess the only other thing i touch on is, is what the uh, official Super Mario Maker 8-bit Mario Amiibo does, which I, I think it's hilarious that it just makes Mario giant and then it gives all the enemies mustaches. Yes, yeah, so like, they actually show the <laughs> off of E3 in the treehouse. Um, oh, okay. I guess I must have missed that. I didn't see that. But yeah, it is. It does look really cool. And did you notice the, the old school CRT effect that gives everything? Yes, I did notice yeah, that. Yeah, that's which so is, good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this honestly, in my opinion, this game is the prime example of how to add in Amiibo support. It's completely optional, but it adds something that's really cool that everyone can get behind. But you also don't even need the Amiibo to get it if you're willing to put in the work to unlock it. So this really yeah. is a textbook example of how Nintendo should be using Amiibo, in my opinion. All right, well, I think that about wraps up for us here. The thanks, guys, for watching. If you liked our discussion, make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain. You can find links to in the description below, which is a good way to keep up to date on everything we post. And of course, keep an eye on Game Explain for more on Super Mario Maker and other things gaming as well. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>